Catch this. Hmm. Something on your mind? You look angry. I feel like the characters in my story are getting harder to understand. The things they like and how the princess can befriend them. It's all so confusing, so many things to tell. Ah. Whoa, whoa, calm down, Nirmala. Let's see here. The Star Princess can use magic, right? Maybe she can use her magic to help her friends out. Solve something that's troubling them, give them a magical item or something. Hmm. If the Star Princess were to use magic, then I suppose... Aha! Of course! <laughs> now it's no time to be kicking a ball around, Tatma. I have a story to tell. Got you a, a Black Forest Gateau, your favorite, right? I'm a bear man now, can't you see it? What? Meow! Err, uh, ark! What the hell do you think you're doing? What? Err. Uh, what? Huh? I'm at my desk? Where's Raya? What just happened? To Raya? To Raya? To Eric? Is he really? Did Raya actually? No, no, no. Crap, what the hell is going on here? Hmm. Did Raya lose consciousness then? Is he hurt? Was that girl? Was that in Mawa? Why was she in Eric's head? Raya said that there was some sort of anomaly causing all this chaos. Was she talking about Nirmala? Did Nirmala make Eric go berserk? Who, is, who even is Nirmala anyway? And what happened back there to pull me out? How did I end up here at this desk in this classroom? For the third time? Yeah guys, I also have all those questions. Uh, get a hold of yourself, Atma. Raya must have answers, I need to find her. Okay. Who is this? Stop talking to me, can't you see I'm trying to work? I'm not sure. Okay, can we find something here? The snail drawings have multiplied thoughts. They have a small cottage now. I wonder when I wake up here and again next. I don't know, we keep coming back to this place. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, sure. So busy that you just keep walking around. No sign of Raya. Hey, Atma. Yes. What are you doing, lazing about in here? Hop to it. Work? What do you mean? Don't play dump. Now you're just trying to skip it. I won't let you. Everyone's doing their part, see? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I really don't know what you're talking about, honestly. Okay. I'm looking for Raya, have you seen her? Raya? Sh Raya, Ra, Ya, Tank, Lin Tank, what? Hey Atma, you bum, quit lazing around and get to work. Huh? Hey buddy, are you okay? Yeah, what happened? Don't try to change the subject. You were, uh, you know what? Never mind. What are these people preparing for? Huh? You're joking, right? It's for Lin Tang Festival, the town's annual celebration to welcome the first Suro Night. Uh, what do you mean, first Suro Night? Yeah, man, apparently Suro is the first month in the Javanese calendar. Huh, I didn't know that. Don't feel bad, man, only old folks know how the Javanese calendar works. Well, I guess we could make the effort to learn. Our generation is kind of ignorant sometimes. Yeah, man, totally. I want to know more about Lin Tang Festival. Lin Tang Festival lasts for a whole week, with different events happening every day. Like a bazaar, dance performances, a parade, a firework display. Our school helps organize it every year. Last year and the year before that. And the year before that too. Right. Well, thanks, I gotta go. You better not skip class again, everyone needs to work hard for Link Tank Fest. 
Okay, what the heck? Find Raya, sure. Very sad and done. Uh, uh, we we'll have no inventory again. A stack of paper. Huh. Okay, not like we can do anything with it. Lintang Festival, local high committee meeting. Okay. Coming through! Wow! Let's go, let's go! Hey, where should we put this? Hey, we need more paint. There are those three stooges. Maybe they don't know what happened to Eric. The school's bustling all of a sudden. I guess what that girl said about preparing for some festival is true. She was acting really weird, but it didn't look like I could space dive her. Weird. What the heck, man? Reality is getting more and more strange. Ugh. Did I hit my head last time I fell unconscious? What the hell is going on here? Ugh. Am I hallucinating or this school is actually getting weirder? Oh, hi there. Hey, I know you. This girl. Lulu, right? Oh, you're Raya's boyfriend, right? Is it just me or is something really freaky going on here? Oh, this is wrong, isn't it? She seems confused, but not broken like everyone else. What should I tell her? Um, yeah. Just see everyone glitching. Glitch? What do you mean glitch? Um, I talked to this girl before and she just kept repeating this weird line. You notice it too? Finally, I'm glad it isn't just me. Wait, you too? Yeah, people were acting super strangely, but everyone else just brushed me off. They acted like I was the crazy one. Okay, so we've established that something weird is happening, but why? What caused it? How do we fix it? There has to be someone around here that knows what's happening. Yeah, it's weird. Honestly, I'm worried about Raya. I think she might have the answers we're looking for. Raya? Why would she be involved? Uh, I just have a feeling. Right. There's no way she's gonna buy this, right? I can't explain everything. Raya's power, space dive... Okie dokie. Huh? I'll help you look for Raya. I can't think what else to do, so you're the best lead I have right now. Besides, I'd rather stick with someone somewhat normal, better than doing nothing. He hasn't seen right around the school, so I should search elsewhere. Okay, let's go. Ooh, nice. We have another party member. Hey, idiots. Preparing for Link Tank Festival has me so pumped. I know, right? What can we do next? I need someone to bring some props around, I think. We can do that. We got muscle to spare. These three. Aren't they always following Eric around? Oh, hey guys, it's Atma. Hello, Atma. Aren't you excited for Lintang Festival? What are you doing here? What now? We're trying to prepare for Lintang Fest. What are you doing here, Atma? You should be helping too. Yeah, this is the peak of our high school experience. How's Eric? Huh? Who? Ari? Eric. What? Who? Sorry bro, we don't know anyone, everyone's name around here. They don't even remember him. I'm looking for Raya, have you seen her? Oh, Raya. Yeah, that girl. She's... Raya, Raya, Tangling Tang. Hello, Atma. Okay, every time we mention her, they restart, I guess. Oh, okay. But let's see. Oh wait, is there a different place here? Oh, where are you going? Come on, we've got places to be. So not here, I guess. Oh, she did say it's not the school we're going to. Well, still 
don't have time to pet the cats. Oh no. You too, where do you think you're going? Stop slacking off and do your part for Lim Tang Festival, kids. Mr. Agung. Why are you in manners? What? You address me with my proper title. Major General Agung Moe Moe General? Remember that. Wait, what? Major General? Mr. Agung, what's going on into you? Enough! Fall in line! You will put all of your energy into making Clean Tank Fest a success. That's an order. Mr. Agung, you're our teacher. You're the vice principal. I... what? No! Enough! Silence! You are! You teach civic studies. You're on a pretty tight ship, but you're not an actual soldier. As your Major General, I command you to work for the festival. Just a few moments ago, you were collecting our future consultation form. You said that as senior students, we should be focusing on our final exams. That we shouldn't participate in non-academic activities like Lintang Festival. I am Major Principal General... Aha! Uh -huh. The Space Dive Prowler appeared on Lulu? Well, let's dive and see how it goes. What the heck? Okay, before it was dogs, now it's ducks. Huh? A courtroom? Is that Mr. Agung and Lulu? Enough! Court is now in session. Is the prosecution ready? Prosecution, don't just stand there with your beak in the wind. What is it? Huh? Yes? I'm the prosecution? What? We're here for the trial of Mr. Agung. Defendant, please state your name to the court. Whoa, this is a real deal. An actual courtroom. My now is the prosecution, huh? Okay, let's play along for now. My name is Major General Agung Mo Jono, your highness. Defendant, your name is Major General? Er... Uh, no, your highness, it's a military rank. Uh. Objection! <laughs> okay. Ace Attorney references now. What? Prosecution, you have something to say? The Mr. Agang that I know is no soldier at all. He is a civic studies teacher at Loka High. What nonsense is this? I see, so that's the case going on to trial here. The defendant here, Mr. Agent, might be a fraud. Order, order in my courtroom right now. For the safety of the realm, we cannot allow a fraud and imposter to roam free. I hope this trial can ascertain the true identity of the defendant. I am the real deal, your highness. I'll show you. No, this Mr. Agent is a fraud. Quiet down now. You're boring the queen. Belay that warden, it is fine. Che. Prosecution, we appreciate your spirit. It's always so honored to have you in court. What the heck? <laughs> Don't get too cocky over there. One wrong word and I'm draining you out by the hair. We will now listen to the defendant's testimony. After that, you are free to cross-examine him, prosecution. Yes, your highness. Defendant, testimony, please. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get Ace Attorney stuff. I approve that I'm the real deal. My name is Major General Agen Kmo Jono, an esteemed soldier since the day of independence. I think I, of all people, should be the authority on this. And I'm certain I'm not a teacher, I'm a bona fide soldier. I have fought for this country. There has never been any proof that I'm a teacher at Loka High. In fact, I have proved that I serve in the military. That is you, defendant? <laughs> okay, so we are really playing case attorney here. <laughs> that is more certainly me, your highness. It even has my signature. Well, aside from the uniform, you look very different from the man in the photo. Ho oh, ho! I was fit back in the day, you know. 
time he's not been kind to me. That's all I want to tell the court. I told you I'm real. Prosecution. It's clear that this defendant is not who he claims to be. I know it in my heart. This man is not who he says he is. Hope we are ready with the evidence. We will tear his testimony to shreds. Evidence? Oh dear, it seems I've overestimated you. Fine, court is adjourned while the prosecution gets his act together. You need to get evidence about the defendant's true identity. Well, Kieran, where can I find that? And your highness? You are here with the power to dive into the minds of others. And the power to resurface afterwards. Have yeah, a feeling that the truth you seek is beyond the borders of my realm. Oh man, okay. I guess this is like the core true minigame. Okay. No. Oh, well, this is kind of like case attorney, I guess. Where do you think you're going, kid? That's an order. Okay, what is this? This is the bag that Mr. Agent threw at me. I'm not here physically, but the whole thing was a bit of a shock to the system. Huh, there's nothing inside except this card. A library card for a civic education handbook for 12th grade. Did he just visit the school library? I should check it out. Alrighty. Oh, okay, I already pet her. Okay, where was the library? Hey, I've never been here before. Gee, who put this here? Is someone using the trolley to race again? How should I know? Huh. Huh? Yeah, I closed the library. Some student keeps using it to skip class, so Mr. Argon had me close it. Can you please open it for a bit? I just need to look for a book. Sorry, Atma, but I'm not risking my paycheck by disobeying Mr. Argon's orders. But maybe my assistant could help you. Your assistant? She's a student with glasses and a ponytail. Huh, what was her name? You forgot your assistant's name? Hey, all she does is read books and be quiet all the time. I don't know how fulfilling her life is. Well, apart from that one time we talked about snails. Then she went on this aggressive run for ages. Okay, where can I find your assistant? I haven't seen her around today. Maybe she's somewhere quiet reading. Okay, I'm looking for Raya. Have you seen her? Raya? Okay, I'm not gonna read that again. Okay, I'm more quiet. Reading. Ugh. What should I do with this? What's going on, man? Oh, what, my boy? Someone left their wallet here, but I don't know who it belongs to. Here, take a look. You're right, there's no ID cards or identifying stuff in here. Doesn't even have any money inside of it. So it's just an empty wallet. Wait, what's this? A follow? It's been torn in half. Oh, this follow is pretty old, but I know of that face anywhere. It's Mr. Agink. Huh, looks like I can use this as evidence in the courtroom. Alrighty. Good sleuthing kit. This must be Mr. Agink's. Make sure you let him know about it if you see him, okay? Sure. In his current state, I don't think Mr. Agink will listen to anything I say. Now to find more evidence. Alright, it's getting fun. Get the first evidence. Oh, find three evidences. Oh. So probably I do have to go to the library again. Uh, sorry, I need to get past. Sorry, Atma, but I can't move it. What? What's the problem? My trolley is broken and this stuff is too heavy to move without it. Can you help me? Huh, let's see what I can do. Well, just found the trolley. Yeah, 
Okay, this is the basketball court. Oh, whoa, disaster, catastrophe. Library locked, but where am I supposed to sleep? Ugh, I bet it's that cowardly librarian. Please find him and ask him to open the door. I need my beauty sleep. Okay. Okay. Alright, these are senior students future planting is Ryan I tur Ryan and I turned us into a bucket list. Guess we won't be submitting them. Okay, no hit. It's a future plan consultation form. Ryan and I never submitted ours. The form has already been filled out. Signature. Here's a it was approved and signed by Mr. Agrink himself. Oh, this will make useful evidence. Okay, take it. Now to find more evidence. Okay, I guess for the last one we need to go to the library. I'm guessing. So we need to get the trolley from the freaking. Hey, can I get this? Hey Atma, that trolley, can I borrow it? It's for moving the pile of props in front of the canteen. Oh, of course, thanks for helping Atma. <laughs> I got the trolley. Wow, well, we just picked it up like this. Just like carry it in our pockets. <laughs> what the heck, man? Alright. There we go. Thanks for your help, Atma. Anytime. Okay. So I'm gonna say anything else. Let's see. This is behind the school. Oh, there she is. Okay. But first things first. Good to see you, Panzo. Okay. Hey there. Hey, Marin. Gasp. Atma, you startled me. Why are you here? Everyone is... I'm scared. Of what? I... Uh, forget it. Just leave me here. Are you the Brian's resistant? I am. Do you need anything? I need to get into the library. I'm looking for a book. Everyone's out here breaking their backs for Lintang Fest, and you're looking for a book? It's Mr. Agen, he is acting really strange. Like pretending to be a military officer, strange. More strange than usual, I mean. <laughs> yeah, he might be a bit strict, but Mr. Agen is usually kind. This is different. Huh, that's weird. Right? Anyway, I found this library carrying his back. Maybe there'll be something in the book uh, he checked out, a clue to help us fix him. Okay, I'll help. For you? Everyone's been acting weird, but it's if Mr. Agent's gone crazy too, then I know something's really wrong. Locking the library for you is the least I can do. Thank you so much, Marin. Uh, why dare ask? Huh? Raya? I, see, I haven't seen her around. Maybe she's somewhere outside of school. <gasps> What's wrong? That's the most normal response I've gone to the question all day. Outside, huh? Do you know why Raya might have left the school? No idea, she's in charge of the Lintang Fest committee, so maybe she's doing some admin stuff. Huh. That's all. Okay, no time to waste, let's go to the library. Okay, where was it? Oh, there we go. Huh, I think it's around here. 
Aha, gotcha. Wait, the key was right there the whole time? Well, now I know... Now you know I suppose I have to find a new hiding place. Here we go, after you. Okay. First edition of Catch Me I'll Hit You, an installment in the popular Whoopus series. These books are suspiciously interesting, are surprisingly interesting. Certainly I could go for some gum. Okay, she and the light bearer had this picture book as a child. She has a talking potato in it. I wouldn't eat my fries for months afterwards. World at last. Wait, someone put an old bit blue ink in it. All these countries to visit, but all I want is to explore our future together. Okay. You said you're looking for a particular book, right? Can I see the card again? Okay. Sure, here you go. Huh, Civic Education Handbook for 12th grade. That should be over here. This is it. Mr. Agan usually uses that copy in his classes. Hmm, there's nothing unusual inside as far as I can tell. Oh! Here's something. A newspaper clipping. Okay, for a man wearing a military uniform, who could this be? The obituary of a Major General. Major General Agoink Mojono. Nice, I can use this in evidence in Lulu's courtroom. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, I guess there is a Major General with a similar name to him. Or maybe it was his friend from the picture and he died. Yeah, I think so. Thanks for help, Marin. Anytime. And so now he's pretending to, him, to be him. Hey, Atma. Yeah? Nothing. Good luck. I think I have enough evidence for the court. I should head back now. <laughs> okay, let's watch some more TV. Alright, we get enough evidence. Let's go back to the trial. Oh wait, anything interesting here? Seniors must submit their future prank consultation forms immediately. Well, that's not gonna happen. As we know. have the evidence. This is supposed to be a kangaroo court by the way, but not kangaroo but a duck court. Your Highness, I have all the evidence in my hand. Very good, are you ready to proceed with the trial? Yes, Your Highness. Defendant, please repeat your testimony. Yeah, this is like Ace Attorney now. My name is Major General Egan Kmo Jono, an esteemed soldier since the day of independence. Half an old follow fish. Ah, oh, okay, so now I can. Okay, let's see. I can present evidence now. I should know my own identity. Saying I'm certainly not a teacher, but I'm a bona fide soldier. I fought for this country. There has never been any proof of me being a teacher at Lokehai. Actually, okay. So here we can present 
they signed Costling for. Objection! There is a bold claim. Your Highness, please look at take a look at this evidence. Huh, no evidence you say. You should think carefully before making a claim like that. This is um, a future plan consultation form. That's right, the letterhead clearly demonstrates that this is an authentic local high document. Take a look at the signature at the bottom of the form. Signed by Egen Kmo John Putra. It's the same as the signature on the photo that you admit it was yours. Oh! Only teachers can supervise and sign the consultation form. This form proves that Agen Kmo John Putra is a teacher at Loka High. Quack quack! Hong quack quack! Order! Order I say! <laughs> Defendant, what do you say to this? Then they must have forged my signature, your highness. There's no proof of that. Still not convinced, huh? Okay. I have other, other evidence, your highness. Very well, please present it. Okay. I have fought for this country. If I have proof that I serve in the military. Okay. So. We should use the torn photo. Objection! Your Highness, please take a look at this evidence. Huh! You're certain this is you in the photo, defendant? Absolutely sure. Will you show the court your photo again? I see no point in doing so, but as you wish. Defendant, this plot looks like looks frayed on the edge, like it's been ripped. How do you explain it? It it must have just been worn from where I've carried it around for so long. No, I think I know what's going on. This photo is only half a larger image. And the prosecution has obtained the other half. No! Oh yes, and the other half, the other half shows you, you in your true identity as a teacher. Order! I will have order! <laughs> That's funny. What do you say to this defendant? That's, that isn't me. <laughs> Resemblance is uncanny, you're still not convinced? Okay, one more piece of evidence. I have other evidence, your highness. Very well, please present it. Okay. My name is Major General Agen, called General and his team. So, okay, let's see here. Oh, let's use the newspaper clipping. Objection! You say that you are Major General Agen, called General, correct? But that's impossible. Huh? Prosecution, the evidence, prove his claim false. Yes, take a look at this newspaper clipping. Local, local man is arrested for selling cigarettes to minor. <laughs> Your Highness, the reverse. Oh, this is an obituary. Wait. The obituary of Major General Agong Mo Jono? That's right, the real Major General is deceased, and as you can see by the date of the newspaper, he passed away many years ago. The real Major General Egon Kmo Jono is dead. Order! I will have order now. Well, Defendant, what do you say to this? Fake news, <laughs> fake news I say. <laughs> this is a conspiracy. No real rebuttal, I see. Still not convinced. All this evidence points to one irrefutable conclusion. You aren't a major general at all. You're Eigen Kmo Jono Putra, a local high teacher. No! Wah. Oh, okay. That flower. But I'm already in space dive. Uh, must we explain everything to you? On your knees already, submit and be grateful for the new power that Her Highness is bestowing upon you. 
new power. Yes, prosecution, congratulations, you are now closer than ever to the truth. But your work is not yet done. Worry not, the core stands firmly behind you. Yes, the power that changed this man runs deep. Your current abilities are not enough, but yes, the foundation is there. I bestow you the power of cross dive. What? Cross dive? You need to peel back the other layer of influence on this man. Go forth and enter the second layer of Mr. Egg's inner psyche. Underneath you will find his true identity hidden away. I want you to restore it. Okay. Um. I'm guessing you have to do some arcade games again or something. Huh. Okay. Here it is. The real Mr. Agang walked away deep inside his heart. I need to set him free. Maybe if I solve this puzzle. What another puzzle? Let me go! Let me go! What is this? There is something behind these bars, but I cannot reach it without opening the door. Then open the door, man. Uh. Okay. Uh huh. I see. Halt! You have no authority here. He's preventing me from going past. Okay, I guess I need to figure out how all this works. What is this? There's something kind of bars I can reach before opening the door. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I guess I have to. Is this in a specific fuse? Probably the red fuse. Okay, this one doesn't work. So I have to f f uh, fiddle around with those three. You know? Let's see. Huh. This is was probably a blue force. Ah, okay. Okay, so here's the red fuse. Okay, I got the red fuse. It goes there and uh huh, it's on. Okay. Wait, what is this construction? Let me out. Sorry, but you're the wrong man. What do you mean the wrong man? Hey. Uh huh. Okay. Can you finally go here, I guess. Turn this switch on. Oh wait, this doesn't work. All oh, right, I get a. Get the blue flu fuse. There you go. Now I gotta open. Wait a sec, how did I open this one? Uh, oh, it was this guy. Okay, this one is. Okay, uh, so we need to play around with this tree and TY somehow. There we go, okay. Oh. Uh, it goes there and. Okay, so hopefully I can open the door. It's on! Yeah, I can see that. Oh, he's still locked. There you go, okay. Huh! Mr. Egg is free. It's all my fault. Huh? 
I see now that you have become someone honorable and worthy. It's okay, father. Oh, it's his father. Okay, now it all makes sense. Father? I can prove to you that being a teacher is a noble way of life. Educating the young generation that will inherit the future. It's my own way of serving the country. I might not take arms like you did, but I fight in the front line all the same. I apologize, my son. I apologize for being such a bad father. All the ways I treated you harshly. I forgive you, father. Beyond anything, I just want you to approve of my life decisions. Thank you, son. Gunk? Mr. Agunk? Raya? Mr. Agunk? Raya? I need your help. I have to leave school for a while, for the festival we need. Do you have a permission slip? No, that's why I... Then it's a no, you may be the committee president of the Ling Tang Festival, but it doesn't mean you can go as you please. But this is for... While we're talking about the festival, how about the missing money? Are you finally taking care of all the budgeting issues? Huh? How did you know about that? Ah, as expected, you still haven't done anything about it, have you? You should solve it for, every, uh, for yourself, stop coming to me for everything. You're the committee president, act like one. You shouldn't know that. You shouldn't say that. Not here, not where. You said everyone's against you, but they're your own classmates. You should be the one who fi figures out a way to convince them. As expected from a textbook model student. Oh, hot air. You can't do anything in your life. Stop, please. I can't hear it again. Lou did it effortlessly last year. The year before, too. She was a fantastic leader and she never had a budget problem like this. I said stop it! What? Useless. I can make the, this the perfect festival, wait and see. Okay, Ryu is acting more and more suspicious. Wait. What is she doing? She's gone. Okay. What is that? A medallion? Student Council President of 2XXX. There's a name in it, but it's crushed out. Do you see now? Uh, you are Mr. Agank, our Civic Studies teacher. Yes, yes I am. I apologize for the weird outburst, outburst kids. Can you tell us what happened? I'm not sure. The last thing I remember was a student. A student? Who? Which one? I, I think it was Raya. Yes, Raya was going to leave the school area. I told her that just because she's the committee president... Huh? It doesn't mean that she can just skip school whenever she pleases. Rai is the committee president of the Lintang Festival? So everything I saw in the space dive is true, right? I did all this. What else do you remember, Mr. Agank? Nothing. Maybe it's heat stroke. It is very sunny today. I need air conditioning in my office now. Wait! Do you know where I went to? Honestly? No. Atma, I thought you were close with her. I... Um... Actually, now you mention it, the counselor did mention something that was worrying about her about Raya. She was going to talk to me about it, but I didn't have the time. The counselor? Miss Nikken? Yeah, maybe she knows where I was headed. Now, if you excuse me, I need a blast of freezing air to the face immediately. Are you sure you're right, sir? I can ask the cafeteria to make you a favorite iced tea if you like. Iced tea is indeed my favorite, but how do you know that? Uh, because he always let me get a one for you whenever there's a student council meeting. Oh, you're on the student council. I don't remember you. Huh? But I was the last year's president. You you don't remember? Ah, you're speaking nonsense. But I... 
Just let me leave, kids. What the heck? Weird. All this is too weird. Raya, that weirdo, the committee president, totally insane. Hey, that's kind of harsh, isn't it? You know her better than I do, you should know exactly why that would ever happen. And Mr. Agang, I was his favorite student. I was hoping that he would at least remember giving me the student council honorary medallion. Medallion? Like this? Where did you get that? Do you know what it is? This mine! Oh man. Uh huh? What is this thing? I can't remember. Well, no time for chit chat. Don't just stand there, Atma. Let's go find me sneaking. Oh, oh, sh oh yeah, sure. Let's go. Huh, if the space dive is true, then Rai is acting really strangely. She seems angry and upset. Hope me sneaking can help me find her quickly. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, here's the medallion. It didn't quite work. I guess he's just going to reset her or something. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing to do, just... Oh, he walked out of school now. Oh, there she is. That's me sneaking. You stay here, I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay. Ah yes, Lulu, what can I help you with? I'm looking for Raya, do you know where she is? Raya? Sorry Lulu, I don't have a clue. You know something about Raya, don't you miss? Miss Dragon told me you have con concerns about her. Can you tell me what exactly you're concerned about? It's important. Oh. Mr. Dragon shouldn't have told you that. I apologize, Lulu, but as a school counselor, I can't discuss a student's private life with our students. Why? It would be a betrayal of trust. It's against our code of conduct, too. Not to mention it could lead to bullying or gossip. Now, if you excuse me... Oh, man. <laughs> What kind of answer is that? This is important. She has a point, you know. You wouldn't want her telling our students about your private life, would you? It's exactly what I expected. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm helping now. I'm just trying to save you some time. There's no way she'll tell us anything. But... But she might tell someone else. Are you suggesting... Yes, now you stay here and give me your lunch money. <laughs> Is this a stick-up? Yep, I spent the last of my cash on a date with Raya. That's rough, bro. Look, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. No, ah, okay, here. Okay, I got 2,000 rupiah from Lulu. That's not much. Okay, I'm going in. Wait. What? What if Miss Nikki spots you? She knows you're Raya's boyfriend. You mean I need some kind of disguise? Hmm... Probably nothing complicated. Just borrow a hat or something from somebody wearing one. Fine, fine, let's hope there's some convenient foliage hiding nearby. Alrighty. Please drop Miss Nikken in Baksu store. Atma, where are you going? You need to listen in on Miss Nikken. Don't I need to get the head first? Okay, what is this? Oh! Nothing happened. Okay. Oh, there you go! Oh, there's the, the guy with the dog and he has a head. That was a good boy. Hey! What's up, bro? Hey, dude, how's the dog? Good, good. Thanks for your help earlier. Let me know if there's ever anything I can do for you. Actually, perfect timing. Can I borrow your hat? Sure, luckily I always carry an extra hat. <laughs> it's an iconic one from a famous soap opera. It looks good on you, bro. Really? That easy? I mean, I always have a spare hat. 
What kind of lunatic doesn't keep a spare head on hand for emergencies? <laughs> That's right, thanks. Not sure lunatic is the right word. But thanks anyway. Alright. Atma, where are you going? I'm just looking for bottle caps, to be honest. Fine. Okay, let's use the hat. <laughs> there we go. Okay, where can I sit down to listen in without being obvious? Bow of Baxo with extra noodles, please. Coming right up! Ugh. I ran into Lulu just now, Pram. Lulu Octavianti? Ah, Lucy Octavianti, yes, her. She reminded me to know my concerns about Raya. The way she talked, it seemed like she accused Raya of being, I don't know, like something is wrong with her. They don't get along well, do they? No, I don't think they do. Oops. Ram, do you think Lulu is looking to weaponize the information here against Ryan? Did you tell her anything? No. That's good. Regardless of Lulu's motives, you didn't let Ryan's private business park an air field between her and our students. You've done your part as a teacher and a counselor, and you can... Thank you. I'm so relieved to hear you say that. I'm not doing anything. So about Lulu. She came up to me earlier to talk about some peculiarities. What if she expects us to try something to do with them? What kind of peculiar things? You know, this Lutang fest. You don't think Agen has been acting weird? Same as Bontrae said, Lulu's right, it's odd. Ram, don't you think so too? You can, the Ritang Fest preparation put people on edge every year, you know that. Just hacking around here and people are all stressed out. Don't let yourself get sucked into it, I mean sure. Though it still doesn't sit well with me. Hey Pram. Keep a secret, you can keep a secret, right? Sure I can, what's up? My concern about Raya, really genuinely worried about her. What's up with her? Seems like she's keeping a lot of secrets. She looks like she's carrying the weight of the whole world on her shoulders. I wonder if everything is alright at home. Huh? Last time Raya asked me out of the blue where to buy fireworks in large quantities. What kind of high school kid does something like that, Pram? She won't tell me the reason. What well, if she's out to do something dangerous? Should we notify the school about that? I'm scared. Hey, hey, relax. Let's circle back to what we can do, okay? What can you do within your capacity as a counselor? Where well, should be someone she feels safe? In case things are really bad at home, she has nobody else to turn to. That's right. And I already notified Agung. See, you're acting this. That's the best angle to approach problems like this. Let's see what you can do to remedy things. If there's something you can't do, there's no point in swearing it. Pram! You're so dependable, you know? Thank you, I try my best. Okay, I guess so does her boyfriend. <laughs> Maybe. Nick, can I finish with your meal? Yes, yeah, just about. Why? The faculty meeting. Oh no! Completely forgot to have that this afternoon. Let's pay and get out of here, yeah. After you. I'm mistaken, obviously, too. Whatever entity is out there trying to mess with the world is getting less discreet about it. Well, I better get going. Alright. But first things first. Macau water direct from the mountain spring. Nice. Ah, I'll be around for the Lintang Fest as well, so I'll be on the lookout. This year's Link Tank Festival will be the most unforgettable event of all time. Really, of all time? Munch, munch. You're bringing toys to Link Tank Fest, right? We gotta play together. 
Okay, okay, I'll bring some. Just chew with your mouth closed. Oh, these are some kids. And their parents, I guess. Hey, you boy. Oh, I didn't pay, I guess. Pay for your back so first. Oh, right. Sorry, Anko. Okay, there you go. Good, good. High scores these days always take full without paying. It's a bad habit, you know. Now that you're full, go here prior and work your ass off with the Lintang Festival. It's gonna be the most unforgettable event of all time. Uh 